Did I press record yet? Yeah. Oh, it's lit. Okay. Hi, so it's uh, Kevin Darling again. I'm back. So today is talking at end of day, and the person sitting next to me is my wonderful, gorgeous, talented, gracious husband. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. only one of those things. He's only one of those things. <laughs> He's pretty, though. What are we talking about? About the Whole30. Oh, that's right. We're talking about the Whole30. <laughs> this is a follow-up. I did a video earlier in the day, so I feel like I'm still there, but I'm not. I'm, I'm here now. It's the end of the day. It's been a long day. I think... Personally, I'm going to say what I feel. I'm going to ask you how you feel about the same question. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay, good. So let's start. So it's end of day. Right now, what time is it? It's about 9.54. Almost 10. Almost 10. Yeah, we should have been in bed like <laughs> an hour ago. Um, we're old people. Um, how do you feel emotionally speaking right now after the end of day? Like, was there something that was the most stressful of the day or something that really scared you about today? So I work in a restaurant and that was pretty hard because I was at work today Yeah. and seeing everybody's food come out and making drinks for people because I'm a bartender was really hard. I was thinking about all the things that I was missing out on and so emotionally I would say it was kind of a tough day so he and read the book and i didn't know even yet. though i encouraged him to wear read the first 20 <laughs> pages just so he'd be better prepared for today yeah. and i feel like even though today was hard for me i think i know it was harder for him anything positive that you want to say that happened today with the meal or anything or well everything that you've made from either recipes that you've modified on your own or um from the book uh have been really great everything's tasted really good good thing mm -hmm. i don't i'm not noticing like, oh, I'm missing ingredients, except for I have an extreme sweet tooth. So yeah. not being yes. able to have dessert or, like, a glass of wine really is going to be the biggest challenge. And wine's hard for both of us because we yeah. love wine. I'm actually hoping that this will inspire you to cook and realize it's not so hard. These meals are actually really easy. I don't consider myself a good cook at all, but I like following recipes. I like order. So this makes it really simple for me to follow. He inherited skills from his mother that I did not. Oh, well. From mine. My mom says she's not a good cook either, so <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so that actually said, wait into my next question, like how do you think about the food so far that we have prepared? Yeah. It's all been positive. I agree it is positive. The most tedious part for me actually isn't cutting or preparing the food. I would say it's more um, the cleanup, <laughs> socks, and making time, like getting up and making sure I have everything that I need. So maybe well. I can commit to <laughs> helping you with the dishes and helping you put yeah. everything away and clean it up as long as you're willing to help me by feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's covered the questions for the day so far um oh we had friends over today we should say that we had yeah. guests over and um i thought that was gonna be hard but it yeah for me it wasn't i i could see you cringe a little bit when they were eating that cheese and you didn't even like cheese yeah so i don't like cheese so i miss it we thought <laughs> if we're having friends over we would bake brie which we already had in our freezer it was just sitting there i wanted to get rid of it yeah, i knew i didn't want to eat it get it out of the fridge so yeah. it's not there anymore it definitely changed the tone because obviously we weren't drinking and normally yeah. when we're hosting we have wine lots of lots we of always booze. provide we like to be gracious generous. Us. so it's only day one i hear day one most people feel like like according to the book like accomplished because like oh i did it and i breezed through it and yeah i did kind of breeze through because i knew what to expect for today so I I, I I feel like i ended on a positive note the only stressful thing about today was uh not having food for you but other than that i felt fine because I did go to a restaurant, and they do say it's really hard to go to a restaurant right. and figure out what to eat on the menu. But because it's San Francisco, it's great because we went to the city to go see a play. And the restaurant let me do all the substitutions I wanted. So I had a cough salad, so it was basically lettuce. Um, and then I took out the ham, and I took out the cheese. So basically, lettuce and eggs. And chicken, and chicken. I had grilled chicken. So that was my protein, <laughs> plus eggs. So I used the egg yolk as a um, dressing almost. It was yummy. So... It was very simple and easy way for me to like do that without the dressing. And I like egg yolks. Yeah. I don't know. They're delicious. I found out that uh, a few of my coworkers have done the Whole30. Oh, cool. Yeah. So my boss, Catherine. Nice. And then um, Hannah and Alex nice. have done it. Oh. Um, they did it. And Catherine's actually starting it again. Again. Oh, right good. Now. Good for her. So she's on it. Except she's, because this is her second time doing it, she is allowing herself to have a drink 
every day, oh. I guess, of, like, one glass of wine yeah. or whatever. Colleen's doing the Whole30 with us, too, right now. Yeah. She's like, I can't give up alcohol, so we call it the Whole15. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to turn to her for advice because she actually ate at the restaurant when she was doing the Whole30. Oh, cool. So she probably and... did a lot of substitutions. and Yeah. Well, she... Honestly, when you have people at work, I think it helps because, I mean, even though I wasn't on the Whole30, my, my coworker was on it, and... If I felt like she was having a hard day, I'd be like, you can do it. It's fine. I tried not to eat bad foods in front of her, and I strongly encouraged her. And now that I'm on it, she just finished. She feels great. I'm proud of her for being able to do it. And so now I have a resource at work, and I have another coworker who just joined who's doing it as well. So okay. next thing you know, maybe all of us will be doing it too, and we can be our own support team. And maybe. Yeah. If you, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. I'm a skeptic. That's just in his nature. Like I'm totally to opposite of you, though, because in that sense, I'm definitely more of the optimist. Like, when I hear a read, I'm like, oh my god, it must be marvelous. Like, I, that's just what goes through my head when I think of things like that. Or I try to stay positive. You have to. Life is so hard. Okay. Stay happy. Stay happy. Stay stay happy. happy. And that's how we're going to we're gonna end this. And this is the darlings of saying, stay happy. Not, I don't even know what I'm looking for. We're not for. radio DJs. But that's like my <laughs> dream job. I want to be like Claire and Vinny. You got the mic. Careful, you're gonna spy. Sarah. Sarah, call me. You watch this. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll be updating you every day, hopefully, <laughs> if I don't murder my husband. Baby.